Hi, this is Dennis with Battleborn Batteries, and I wanted to talk about wiring and programming a Victron BMV 700 series battery monitor. So the battery monitor consists of a shunt and a display. Now the display could either be the round display that you can actually mount somewhere in your, in your vehicle, or it could be on your smartphone. So first let's talk about wiring the device. The shunt itself is like a very low resistance resistor that measures current. The reason that we wanna measure current is because we wanna measure the amount of charge that's going into and out of the battery. This is the best way to do it, is with a shunt resistor. Now the device itself is mounted on the negative side between the batteries and the loads. Now this is very important. The shunt is directional, which means one side goes to the battery and one side goes to the load. It's labeled. The side that's labeled battery goes to the negative terminal of your battery bank. Now the side that's labeled load goes to everything else. That means it goes to the negative side of your solar charge controller, the negative side of your inverter charger, the negative side of your DC bus. And this is also very important. If you look at your battery bank, there's only one thing that should be connected to the negative terminal of your battery bank, and that is the shunt. Everything else goes on the other side of the shunt. The reason for that is everything that goes into and out of the battery needs to go through the shunt. All current needs to go through the shunt. If you give the current another path, it's going to bypass the shunt and you will not accurately monitor your state of charge. Now, that explains the load terminals of the BMV. Now, there are a couple other connections to the device other than the load terminals here. For example, you've got this RJ11 type cable, which actually connects to your display, to the round display that comes with the that comes with the BMV 700 series. There's also a positive sensor wire. Now on the 712 and on the 702, there's actually two positive sensor wires because you can monitor two battery banks. So one of them goes to the positive terminal of your battery, of your lithium iron phosphate battery bank. The other one can either be used to monitor temperature or it can be used to monitor another battery bank. In this case, the other sensor wire is going to the starter battery. So we can measure the voltage of the starter battery and of the battery bank. Now there's one other very important point I wanna make here. We've already talked about not bypassing the shunt by not connecting anything to the negative terminal of the battery bank. This is very important. The chassis ground is connected to the load side of the shunt, not to the battery bank. I'll say it one more time. The battery bank negative terminal only goes to the shunt, not to chassis ground. Since we use chassis ground for the negative terminals of other devices, the chassis ground has to go on the load side of the shunt. If you've got chassis ground going to both sides, you're gonna bypass the shunt and it's not gonna work. So now that we have the wiring correct, let's set up the BMV 712 using the app. So in our Victron Connect app, we'll go to the Smart BMV, click on Settings, click on Battery, and there's only a couple things that you really need to worry about here. The first is the battery capacity. So you can see that we've got the battery capacity set here to 300 amp hours. We've got three 100 amp hour batteries. The second is the charged voltage. Now the charged voltage is the voltage above which the BMV will recalibrate itself to 100%. As soon as the voltage increases above the charged voltage, then when the tail current drops below its prescribed value, it will reset itself to 100%. So here we've got it set at 14.4 volts. If you're not quite getting to 14.4 volts, feel free to drop this down maybe to 14.2 volts. That will ensure that when you're very close to full, it'll trigger this to know to recalibrate to 100%. And finally, we've got the tail current, the tail current of 4% of the maximum current, is the default setting on the device and you can leave it there. If you have any other questions on wiring the BMV series battery monitor or on programming the monitor, please feel free to call in at Battleborn Batteries and we'll be very happy to help you with any questions you have.